Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In the last video we have seen how to use wake num function. In this episode we will look at network days function. To follow along with me you need to download this workbook using the link in the video description. There are two worksheets in this workbook, network days and a practice zone. Network days is the worksheet where I will demonstrate this lesson and practice zone is for you to practice. Let's begin. Sometimes we fall in a situation where we have to actually calculate the amount of days between two set of dates. How do we do it in Excel? This is a simple process. You simply have to remove old date from the new date. That is, if I press an equal to, this seems to be a new date. I select that date minus this date and press enter on the keyboard. You can see there are 21 days between these two dates. But notice these days are calculated irrespective of holidays, weekends, everything is calculated. Assuming that the week is of seven days, there is no holiday, there is no weekend, so that's the number we get. How about calculating the amount of days excluding weekends. We have a function for that. We go ahead type in network days and select the first function for now. This function takes in three parameters start date, end date and holidays. For now we are going to calculate without holidays. Since holidays is optional I will go ahead for select the start date. Start date has to be a date which is uh, an older one. And I go ahead press in comma and the new date seems to be this one. I will select that one in the end date parameter. Close the bracket and press enter. There we go. We have 16 working days between these two dates. Now let me drag this down. So you can see there is a difference here. Here we have weekends included. Here we do not have weekends. That is Saturday and Sunday. Now how about excluding the holidays from this one? I go ahead press in equal to we type in network days one more time select the start date then select the end date here that is the latest date now for the holidays I have these set of days here I will simply select them press F4 on the keyboard to freeze that cell, that selection to make it absolute. For the people who do not know about the absolute reference, I request you to go ahead and look into the past videos that we have produced. You will find a great lesson about this. Let me drag this down and this time we will have a few changes. Here we have holidays, few holidays that have been removed, four holidays. Here we have another uh, difference. Here there seems to be no difference since there is no holiday between these dates. Similarly, the other dates. Now, imagine you live in a country where the weekends are not Saturday and Sunday. Could be possible that you only have one weekend. Could be possible that you have uh, a custom weekend like uh, Friday and Saturday some parts of Gulf countries will have Friday and Saturday as weekend. In India mostly there is only one weekend that is Sunday. So how do we manage these kind of weekends? Let me go ahead and type in network days one more time but this time I will select network days dot intl. This function will give me an additional parameter that is start date, end date and weekend. That's an optional one but we need it because we want to calculate the network days with custom weekends. So here I select the start date comma the end date. The moment I press in comma you see I have a list of weekends. From that I can select anything based on my uh, requirement. For example if I'm living in a Gulf region I will select Friday and Saturday. If I am living in India I will select Sunday only. Let me select Sunday only. 
double click on that it will insert that one now without inserting holidays I will just close the bracket press enter so this time only the Sundays are removed drag this down see that we have one weekend that is a, a one day weekend Sunday only removed from these calculations so this is how we use network days to extract the amount of days between two set of dates here in the practice zone file I have few dates a list of holidays for you and few tasks here you will have to calculate the project life with standard weekends with holidays with custom weekends and with custom weekend and holidays I request you to explore this function as much as possible use different variations of custom weekends try finding out the results try matching your results from one to another and see how it comes up the more you practice the more you will retain don't give up your practice don't ignore in the next video we will look at how to find the target date for example if your project is of 120 days and the start date is somewhere today what would be the date when the project is getting over we will find out how to calculate that in the next video thank you so much for watching this video to follow along don't forget to subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon to receive notifications about the new videos and have a nice day until next time